Hi everyone, welcome to the Muster Drill. I'm Scott and the cruise restart keeps on going. Hi everyone, welcome back. So there's a lot going on with um, the cruise restart right now. I mean, I'm really, really excited about a lot that's happening. So um, I want to start with uh, Royal Caribbean had responded to an update or a clarification from the CDC on, uh, on accepted vaccines. So I'm not really sure how many people from the U.S. fall into a category of where they have gotten a mixed um, vaccination or mixed, you know, vaccine manufacturers uh, for COVID. I mean, now, I mean, I have heard and I have seen the stories where, you know, sometimes I even saw, I think I even saw a TikTok or something where somebody had said that, you know, they got one dose of uh, Pfizer and one dose of Moderna. So in any event, I'm not sure how many people fall into this category, but in any, uh, you know, I guess there are, you know, some people who do. So the CDC is now saying that if you've gotten, you know, one dose of either or of the mRNA vaccines, you will be considered fully vaccinated and therefore at least at the moment Royal Caribbean is the first cruise line to actually come out and announce that they'll be accepting you know a vaccine card that shows one of two you know I mean like one and the other mRNA vaccine, so Pfizer, Moderna, Moderna, Pfizer, whatever. And of course, they've always said that, you know, because the J&J &J vaccine is a, you know, is a one dose, they've always said that you were considered fully vaccinated 14 days after your last you know, your first and only dose of J&J. &J. Now, I guess there are some people who have gotten the J&J &J and then went and got like a Pfizer dose or whatever after that. And I think there is clarification in the FAQ on Royal Caribbean's website that actually says, hey, if you got a shot of J&J &J and then you got like Pfizer or Moderna, um, you know, that's accepted too, but that's really not has, it really has nothing to do with the second R M MRNA vaccine for those J and J people, just because J and J is a one shot thing. So they consider it, you know, fully vaxxed after, after that first shot anyway. So, um, so yeah, so, you know, with all of that said, now there's no, I no no word yet from any of the other lines as to whether or not they're going to do that. But I would expect that they are going to do that because, I, I mean, why not? I mean, the CDC says it's okay now. So, our, you know, RC, Royal Caribbean is just the first one to actually be able, you know, actually come out and, and make the, you know, the announcement public. So that kind of leads us into, um, you know... It leads us into kind of the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is the, um, you know, the travel ban being, you know, lifted um, by the United States. So, you know, they haven't fully announced it. I believe that they're going to announce it on the 27th of, um, of September. Uh, so, um, you know, on Monday. But so what that does is that's going to actually allow people from 33 nations who are fully vaccinated of course they have to be fully vaccinated but that's going to allow you know a lot more people coming into the united states so um and so you know with that said that they have to be vaccinated the you know the cdc is working with the world health organization or the who to you know i guess determine based on you know efficacy data and things like that like what vaccines out that that are being administered outside the united states will actually be considered acceptable to you know you know for those people coming in so um, um you know it's the list isn't obviously very long so 
it is, you know, Pfizer and Moderna. So I guess those are available, you know, in places outside the U.S. AstraZeneca. So before I like say any more of that, I mean, you might remember that there was some issue with AstraZeneca, you know, early on in the pandemic. And I don't have a lot of specifics about it, so I'm not going to really go into it. But um, the the information specifically lists like it doesn't just say AstraZeneca. So it says like there's this vaccine called Covishield. So um, Covishield and then it says that it's like a formulation of AstraZeneca. I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with that, but it doesn't say like it's a formulation of AstraZeneca and this other you know, vaccine. So who knows? But in any event, it's called Covishield. And then there are two other ones called uh, Cinefarm and Cinevac. Um, I assume that those Cinefarm and Cinevacs are from Asia. I'm almost positive those are from Asia. So in any, you know, so, you know, Asia's part of the you know the they're going to be lifting the travel ban on China I think at least specifically so and I believe those are the Chinese vaccines so according to CLIA you know if you don't know what CLIA is CLIA is the cruise line international association or whatever it's basically the lobby group for the entire industry and you know all the cruise lines belong to it so CLIA um, had released some data or whatever that said that in 2019, about two and a half million people traveled from outside the U.S. to the U.S. specifically to go on a cruise. And of course, they release all kinds of data about, you know, all the, you know, so all the money that, you know, they spent in all the additional places, you know, hotels and restaurants and all this other kind of stuff. And, I guess that creates like 60,000 jobs and stuff in those industries and so forth. So obviously that would be a boost to the industry. The restart is going well. And, you know, we know that, you know, the ships are sailing at a limited capacity for right now. So, um, but they do, uh, you know, they do plan to increase that capacity all the way back up to, you know, full capacity again. So this I think will, you know, kind of play into that plan for them so that, you know, they'll have these additional people from these 33 nations. You know, it's going to be basically all of Europe, UK, India, Brazil. You know, I don't know how many in people from India or Brazil are coming to the U.S. to cruise. I don't have those numbers, but I do know, and I don't have specific numbers for anything really, but I do know that, you know, from Europe and Asia, those numbers are definitely bigger than, say, India or um, Brazil. But in any event, um, so yeah, so that's, you know, going to help the industry and kind of play into their plans to, you know, increase capacity on the ships as they move throughout the rest of 2021 and into 2022. So, um, you know, that's great news. And of course, you know, those people coming in will have to be vaccinated. So, you know, that's even better news. But I'm curious, what do you think? Do you think that it's a good thing that the travel ban is being lifted and that there's going to be an increase in um, capacity on the cruise ships? Do you think it's too soon? Do you think we should, you know, allow more of the restart to continue before we start adding additional passengers and, you know, bringing people in from other countries, even though they're vaccinated? So I'd really like to know what you think. So leave me a comment below and, you know, let's talk about it. Yeah. So then the next thing I just wanted to talk about was, you know, just remind everybody that we're going on the Carnival Pride here in just a few days. So this coming Sunday, September 26th, we're going to be on the Pride. We can't wait to get on board. We can't wait to bring you along with us. And, you know, we're going to be doing videos from it and, and everything else. We're going to be talking about, you know, all the things we're going through to, you know, you know, as part of the restart and, um, you know, how they differed and things like that. And we're just going to be, you know, we're going to a couple new places, at least a couple new places for me. We're going to Bimini, which is new for everybody. Um, you know, and I know that there's already a lot of Bimini videos and stuff out there. So, um, you know, so I'll just be adding to the list of Bimini videos, but in any event, so we just wanted to, you know, remind everyone, don't forget to subscribe, you know, so that you can, you know, see all the videos we're bringing to you from on board. So that's 
that's really going to do it for today's um, video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And then please click that subscribe button. It won't cost you anything. You click it once, you're done. It'll really help us ch our growing channel out a lot. And then don't forget to click the notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.